Hi humans, Lord Drew is back, Finny here. Just let me try trying to create something here. All day tips that are here. Please subscribe to this channel. I... The voice was strange. This channel. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about. <laughs> I started studying again. Thank Lord. Thank you. Since I left school when I was 17 years old, I have always wanted to study. I have always wanted to go to college or to study something that I liked. I have always wanted to become a doctor. That's one thing that you don't know about me. But I'm only things that I have always loved to do. There are three things. Become a doctor, become an actor, and maybe can work in Grey's Anatomy. And becoming a photographer. That's one thing that I didn't know that I wanted for a career, but I have always been the kind of guy who were at a beat or something like that. And I just moved my friends in a position just to take their pictures and most of my friends pictures on Instagram probably I took them and they should be paying me those little bastards <laughs> I have always had this this passion this thing that I have always liked to do but I didn't have time to like pay attention to that I was working all the time and I kind of give up studying and doing something that I like because I was working so much, the only thing that I wanted was to rest, like rest. But after I quit my job, now I have opportunity to study photography, and I started my my classes two days ago. And how can I say this? It was the perfect thing that I, the perfect the perfect decision that I have always made. I felt so in my place there that. I, I found home after living 23 years in a house. I found my home, and and I'm not gonna say it's going to be easy. I'm going to record the the school for you. Maybe you can see in a vlog. The first day that I got there, I was really stressed. I was really anxious because half of me was super excited to start studying again because that's one thing that I really like to do but the other half of me it was feeling like that imposter feeling that imposter syndrome like people call it is that when you are capable of something or when you can do something or when you do something good but at the same time you don't believe that you are capable of doing that like you feel like you were an imposter, you were pretending to be something, someone else. That's why I, I, I don't know how to take compliments because I have this saying when someone's complimenting me, I'm like, <laughs> just no, no, me? No, no. When I got there, everyone is older than me, like people around 30 years old. The professor was really cute, by the way. <laughs> and I felt that I wasn't prepared to be there. Like, everyone there is learning from the beginning, but I felt like those people had more experiences in life and I started feeling like, mm, maybe, I don't know what I'm doing here, but that sensation just was there for five minutes. Because when the class started, when the teacher started teaching, I felt so overwhelmed for all those kinds of informations and things that I had a feeling but I didn't know exactly the terms and how to use it and it was just an introduction class but for me it was a lot there was a lot of things and I'm so excited I feel like for the first time in my life I'm putting my energy in something that is really me if I ha if I can say like what I have in my life now that I feel like it's really me I, th I will probably just answer three, five things, and that's my dog, my channel, and now my photography classes. And it's good to do something that you have passion about. And about the people there, I don't know if you know that, but I'm a really shy guy, but I'm a guy who talks a lot. So half of the people already know me, because I can't stop talking. Yeah, I'm crazy. And but it was really fun. It was really refreshing. It's I feel like now my life is really moving. For the last ten years, I I felt like I was stuck in a place. I was locked in a cage. 
I was felt in a cage. No. I was locked in a cage. That could be a song. I don't know how to sing. Sometimes we don't do things that we know that will make us feel happy because we are putting our energy in something that we don't really like but we care about people and we give up our dreams to to do something for someone else and of course you need to take care of people of course you need to have empathy and do something for people but don't forget to live your life because you become an unhappy person and you don't want that you don't want that you're just gonna be sad if you just move away from the things that you like from the things that you are and I'm so happy now it will be 90 months studying and photographing every day and I'm feeling so happy the class only happens once a week but we have homework activities and outside class activities and I'm feeling so happy right now I just needed to share this with you I just need to say thank you so much for being here you don't know how this channel support me support my life and if you want to donate to support me support this channel I really 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 would be happy if you click on the link in the description you can donate using credit card and thank you for being here if you can share this channel share this channel I'm feeling over the top I'm feeling happy because I'm starting something that I'm really like that I'm excited to do and that didn't happen in a while in years I hope you could be here and watch my evolution I love y'all thank you for being here thank you for making my dreams come true support the channel <laughs> I think I'll see you in the next video remember to live proudly because you're fucking special so take care of yourself love you and I'll see you next video bye Thank you for being here to listen to me talking about the things that I like and the things that I don't like.